Hi, I'm Eric Kunz, Senior Product Manager with Furuno. Today I'm going to introduce you to the new MCU002. It's a new remote controller for the TZT series. It can work with the TZT Black Box, the TZT14, or the TZT9. And the Time Zero Touch products are designed uniquely to work with this product because it's a 10 button controller that has most of the keys that are normally on the screen of the TZT systems. In this case, you'll see that we have a few different keys that are designed specifically for ease of use as a console remote controller or even an armchair remote controller. And this product was designed for full utilization of the TZT system, of any of the TZT BBs, that is. For example, if I have a TZT installation where I have a black box and I want to retrofit the black box to an older uh, boat that has existing non-touch monitors, yes, you can actually use this controller for full control of that system without having a touch screen on the TZT BB. Uh, in the same manner, you can also add it to any TZT14 or TZT9 existing installation to add remote control capabilities, say where there's either an armchair or a location on the console where the customer doesn't necessarily want to always reach over to touch the, or operate the system uh, via a touch control. A little bit about the control and functionality of this new MCU product. It's actually a remote controller that is USB based. So it's a USB 2.0 product. That means it can plug into the rear USB ports on a TZT9 or TZT14. And it also can plug in to the uh, multiple USB ports, uh, one of six on the TZT BB system as well. Of course, if you run out of USB ports on any TZT product or Navnet 3 product, for example, you can always add a USB hub, just a standard off-the-shelf USB hub to add more USB ports to the system. And that might, that might be important because you might want to add one or more of these to a single vessel. Additionally, it has 10 keys which, are rep, which basically replicate the existing functionality of the TZT user interface. So for example here, if we talk about some of the operation of the MCU, you can see here I have a dedicated home key. So if I press that, I can actually bring up the home display. And I have a cancel button as well. So if I want to cancel that, I can bring it back to my original mode that I was operating in. It also has a standby auto key for the autopilot for a NavPilot 700 if you have it connected. So you can use a USB um, NMEA 2000 interface and link everything together, and then actually have full control of your nav pilot directly from this key. I can also control from the user interface, once it's adjusted, I can control course, and I can go into nav mode as well, all with this controller. Uh, further, there's a center button, and then there's a cursor and scroll button as well. The, with this button, I can actually decide whether I want to scroll the chart, or I can scroll a cursor. Now, this MCU is designed to work with the latest software of Navnet TZ Touch, which is version 3.12 and above. 3.12 uh, is being introduced to be used in conjunction with this controller. We added a couple unique features that allow this controller to really benefit with the user interface of TZ Touch. And those functions are right here. If I press the home key, I'll go into my menu and then look at my actual uh, general menu. And you can see here some new uh, additions to the actual uh, uh, general menu which allow this controller to be optimized. And one of the features is called a cross cursor. And you can see here if I turn on the cross cursor, it'll actually turn on a cursor that's much bigger, much more visible from a distance. So ideally, if you're operating the system from a console or maybe even from an arm armchair controller where you're a couple feet away, you can actually see this cursor much more clearly. And once I turn that on, I can use this cursor as the main cursor. It changes from an arrow to a cross cursor, and it very easily allows you to, to manipulate your, where you are on the screen. Additionally, uh, with the cursor, I can actually control, uh, there's a speed control function now. So if I go ahead in here, I can actually control the speed, and I might want to increase it to maybe 10. And you can see here when I bring the cursor, it's a little bit faster. There's also a new feature called auto scroll. And that's really nice when using the MCU remote controller because when I turn it on and I close this window, you'll see that as I move the cursor to the edge of the screen, once I start to do that, it'll pan automatically. Additionally, there's also dedicated zoom in and zoom out keys. And you can see here I can use those keys to zoom in or zoom out the TZ Touch product. 
And that works on the radar display, the sounder display, and or of course the, charter, the chart display. Well, the joystick controller has a dedicated select function when you press the button, which will bring up the actual con contextual uh, roto key menu. There's also a dedicated function key, which is normally used as a two-finger uh, gesture on um, a touch-based system. However, of course, if you don't have a touchscreen monitor on a retrofit boat, you can then enable the function key, program it on the, on the system, and use the function key as you like with a dedicated key on the MCU controller. The two keys on the sides of the function key, in addition to being the cancel and the home button, are also dual function keys. And if you press them for an extended period of time of one second, they'll actually bring up the MOB or man overboard alarm. And on the other side, you'll actually bring up the brilliance and power on off control. Thanks for joining me on this quick take on the MCU002 remote controller for TZ Touch. For more information, go to FernoUSA.com.